डियर फ्रेंड्स माई सेल्फ प्रोफेसर खोड द ऋषिकेश एंड यू आर वॉचिंग चैनल लाइफ साइंस स्टडीज हियर वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द कंटिन्युएशन ऑफ द प्रीवियस पार्ट विच इज ऑन लिपिड बाय लेयर मेम्ब्रेन स्ट्रक्चर सो द मेम्ब्रेन नॉट ओनली कंसिस्ट लिपिड्स बट ऑल्सो इट कंटेन कोलेस्ट्रॉल एज वी हैव स्टडीड इन प्रीवियस पार्ट्स यू कैन फाइंड दोज लेक्चर Uh, the link is provided in description now we are going to discuss the third member which is very important member who is the protein which are present in the membrane who are performing the diverse function and required for various activity to perform by that cell so when we look at the protein in the membrane as shown in the screen so these proteins are of various types there are three major types of proteins are given which are these three types the first of all the proteins which are present on the surface outside and the inside of this membrane are known as peripheral protein another type of protein which are present in the membrane are integral protein so the integral proteins are those proteins who have traversed the membrane throughout so their one side is at the internal side of the cytosol and another side is at the outer side or external surface of the membrane and third type of the protein are known as anchored protein means what these proteins are anchored in the membrane with the help of lipids lipid anchor so these proteins are present here but what functions they do is most important to discuss here generally membrane is performing the function of exchange of various molecules the molecules which are non polar in status these molecules are exchanged by the membrane directly because internal side of the membrane is non polar so the molecule directly diffuses from outside to inside depending upon the concentration of the molecule if the concentration is more at the outside this molecule directly diffuses through the membrane but the question or problem arises when the molecule is polar polar means if it contain a charge whether the charge is a partial or complete charge the molecule face problem while entering through the membrane for that these proteins performing the key role the proteins are functioning here as a channel or as a carrier or as a transporter to carry out this molecule from outside to inside and from inside to outside so various ions are so get trans transported from outside to inside through this channel if you want to study these proteins to study these proteins if you treat the membrane with chemical which contain somewhat charge or various ion if you treat the membrane with different charged ions or if you alter the ph of the solution you will find the peripheral protein get dissociated very easily because they are present at the aside of membrane but integral proteins do not get dissociated so easily because they are so boundly tight in the membrane because the polar and non polar region of the protein and the membrane so we are going to study about which are the proteins are performing the function here mainly the integral protein or transmembrane protein performing the function as like a carrier or as like a channel or as like a signaling module or signaling mechanism so in case of channels we if you discuss the channel which is nothing but the hollow inside where it gives entry to the charged ions especially so the entry of the ion through this channel dependent upon the concentration of ion if the concentration of ion is more at the outside then that ion will transported through this uh, transmembrane protein and on other hand these channels are also gated channels means the molecule or ion want to enter inside the cell there is a gate present on this channel so the state of this gate if it is open then only the ion can enter through this channel if the gate is closed then channel is closed and ion cannot enter inside the cell so this channel do not require any kind of energy that's why it is also known as passive transport of molecules or ions in the membrane or outside the membrane so mainly if you we have studied that the osmosis which is, which is very famous phenomenon in physiology where the movement of solvent which is mainly the water takes place from the membrane through the protein which is known as aquaporin which is a channel from which the water molecule transport is takes place in many exam this question has been asked which protein is responsible for transport of water molecule 
through the membrane is known as aquaporin protein various uh, famous examples are there where we will find the passively or actively this transporter exchanges molecules from outside to inside and from inside to outside if you see there are various proteins in the membrane who require energy in the form of atp can transfer the molecule from inside to outside outside a uh, devoid of concentration gradient means they do not think about the concentration they just take energy to do this so very famous example is that sodium potassium pump so it is known as a pump because it exchange sodium ion with the potassium ion generally inside the cell the sodium concentr sodium ion concentration is less and potassium ion concentration is more so to maintain this state generally whatever energy we take during a day in 24 hours generally we require 160 gram of glucose so out of the energy which is derived from this 160 gram of glucose one third energy is utilized to maintain this state of ions so this is very interesting fact to think upon because the ion balance is main reason the normal or proper function of neurons so we are talking about sodium potassium pump this pump what it what this pump do this pump explicit or uh, take sodium ion outside and takes potassium ion to inside for this this sodium potassium pump require energy in the form of atp what happens actually is that when atp sends phosphate group on this transporter the conformation of this transporter changes and the function takes place so we are discussing about the function which are done by this protein so this is short video on the basis of how this membrane performing the function with the help of these proteins there are various different functions such as signaling mechanism whatever signaling is done inside the cell is done by these proteins which are present in the membrane many secondary messengers are present inside the cell but many proteins which are present on the membrane acts as a primary messenger so in upcoming lectures in signaling especially we will discuss in uh, uh, live examples how this signaling takes place but here you need to remember that the proteins which are present on the membrane performing this function so up till we have seen the lipids the different different types of lipids which are present in membrane Uh, glyco glycoproteins sphingolipids are there we have studied different sterols which are present in a membrane fungi contain different types of sterol plant contain different types of sterol the animal contain different types of sterol and today we have just seen the membrane protein which are present in the membrane and i would request you to please check out the lecture which we have already discussed about the hydropathy plot to determine the amino acid status in the protein which are present in the membrane so you will get everything out of that in ramchandram plot also we have studied how to determine the alpha helix and beta sheet structure and in hydropathy plot lecture we have studied about how these amino acids can be studied in membrane as well as cytosol protein so here i will stop and i would request you to subscribe this channel so you will get automatic notification we are covering the lecture series as uh, per the syllabus of csir net jrf so you will find very easy to understand with the help of these lectures so please comment whatever problem you are facing so it will help me to create such videos so we will meet in next lecture thank you for your time bye